Spill the Tea is sponsored by the Spice and Tea Exchange of Rehoboth. We are so excited for today's Spill the Tea because we have brand spanking new tea. Yes, so I uh, got to go to the Spice and Tea Exchange on Rehoboth Avenue in Rehoboth Beach. Nice. Check out their summer flavors that they have going on because I think we tend to think tea mm -hmm. is for the cozy months. No, no. It's not. It's for all year long mm -hmm. uh, because we got flavors like this. Strawberry clouds, white tea. First, smell it. Yeah, baby. This is a summer yeah. flavor. I want my whole kitchen to smell like that. That's what I'm saying. And you nice. probably could with like a little simmer pot. Yeah. It's a big bag. It's a really big bag. Mm -hmm. Just saying. And uh, Joy, the owner of Spice and Tea, she's so cool. She has so she many is. ideas for tea that I never even thought of. Right. She was coming up with like little wine spritzers, and I was like, oh, I never even thought of this. Oh my, so. that would be a great wine spritzer. I don't know how to make it, but I bet it would be good. That's what I'm saying. Okay. But it's a delectable organic white tea blend, perfect for a warm summer's day. Strawberry and rose hip provide a luscious base highlighted by a rose and vanilla. And we're pairing it with something that we've never done on Coast Life before. I have been so excited about this yes. because every time I go into the Spice and Tea Exchange, I see these little whipped honey jars. And whipped mm -hmm. honey is fantastic yes. because you can use it like on toast, like mm -hmm. a little spread or like on a scone. Mm -hmm. Like there's just so many great ways. And the uh, summer flavors that they have, this is their key lime one. Yes. Key lime and strawberry tea. I feel like they go together. I think they will. So uh, we already kind of put some honey in our cups. I don't know if you want to give it a little taste on its own. It's yeah, also like a perfect little treat. Let's do a little, and I already looked at the ingredients. It's just raw honey it's and honey. lime. Mm -hmm. All right. Ooh. Did it change your life? Because I've been telling ooh. you all morning that it's going to change your life. The key lime hits you at the end. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. so, oh my gosh. I feel like I might cry. I love it so much. I know, like the, the urge to eat the entire jar just on its own is being resisted. No, I need to go get that. Yes. Thank you for letting me try it. But You're yeah, welcome. Leah already put it in our cup, so yep. we're going to pour some tea That's and right. uh, we'll let you know how it I'll tastes. I'll get to spill in and you get to spill in. Okay, so, so we have uh, some sibling family drama today. Ooh, my just, favorite. Yeah, I think a lot of us can relate to this. So uh, you have five kids, which is funny. I'm one of five kids as well. And go. it's two boys and three girls, which is also my dynamic. Ah, so I feel like I close can... Close to your heart. Yeah, I think I can Did, give some Did uh, one advice. of your siblings write this in? No, thankfully no. <laughs> this was not written by my brother because the oldest person is a boy. Okay. In the family that <laughs> wrote in. Um, and he says he's 17. He, then he has a brother and then three younger sisters. Okay. Uh, his younger brother, his parents just love him because it's his kid. Mm -hmm. But um, he says that kind of outside the family, away from his parents, his brother's not doing well. Mm. He's honestly a menace at school. Ooh. He's mean to people. Nope. Apparently he's mean to his siblings. Mm. Now, I don't know to the extent, you know, how terrible this is. Is it just good old ha ha sibling or is it not? Right. It seems like it's not. It seems like it's a bit much. Um, so the parents found out recently that the, the friends that the brother's been hanging out with, they've also been getting into trouble too. Mm -hmm. And they kind of went to the older brother and they're like, you are supposed to be the role model. You are supposed to be looking out for your brother. How did we get here? And he's like, aye, aye, aye. Uh, so I think you already know where, what we're feeling, but what are your first thoughts? I mean, I'm sure it's a bit of a wake up call for mom and dad, mm -hmm. and maybe they're just afraid to admit that it was them. And so they're taking it out mm -hmm. on oldest brother. Yeah. Um, Cause I think that happens a lot sometimes mm -hmm. where there does seem to be this pressure on the oldest sibling to be the, the perfect shining star, right. the example that the others are meant to follow, the natural born leader right. cause they're first in line. And sometimes he might even be like, look, I tried to tell you, but you guys didn't want to hear it. Yeah, I think that's kind of what's happening. I think it's, I think it always goes back to the parents. You can't expect siblings to parent. It's not their job. No. It's not what we're here for. No. I mean, I think there's, you know, there, there's so much growth that does mm -hmm. happen between siblings and so much like my brother and I joke that we raised our mm -hmm. sister, but we didn't raise our sister. My parents did. Exactly. But we're always like, well, that's why she's so weird. Like that was on us. Exactly. <laughs> I know maybe that's, this wasn't the answer and advice you wanted, but as older siblings, uh, we, we Who made it through our teen years. We did it. <laughs> um, also, I, I tried this. I saw you sneak talking. a sip. Yeah, How I was it? Really good. Because I didn't get to try this one while I was there. The key lime honey does not overpower it. It just oh, yeah. makes it that citrusy. And I feel like, yeah, this is like an iced tea. Mm -hmm. Or like we said, like a little spritzer action. Mm, it's so good. This would be like this would be the star of any party that you throw. You've just turned me into a spring. Spring, summer. You just turned me into a summer tea drinker. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's still spring. I'm fine. Whatever. We'll do that, and hopefully we'll turn you into a summer mm -hmm. tea drinker, too. You can get yourself this tea and plenty of other summer flavors at the Spice and Tea Exchange on Rehoboth Avenue in Rehoboth Beach. Get the honey. Get the honey. Please. I, I promise you, you're going to love it. You do <laughs> anything today. <laughs> you can I'm take it up with me if you don't love it, yes. but I promise you will. You will. Uh, but we do have a little bit more coast life to get to when we get back.